。Okay, Ami さん、ちょっと久しぶりですね。When's the last time we made a video together? あれでもいつぶりですかね。I think it was、uh, three or four months ago when we were doing the Doi Hunger Prints. You did one of those. Ah, Kamisugi Ban. So, so, so. The fans have been waiting for you to come back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so. I should give a note to the people who are on this video. Ami san has spent the last、oh, month or so now, she's been working on a very large Oban print. It's one of the Hasui designs from Doi Hanga. And unfortunately, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> we took some other pictures of this. <laughs> She spent so much time on these Doi Hanga vlogs that we are running out of some of the prints in our shop downstairs. So I've had to ask Aimi san to get sort of back to where she was two years ago and make some of those simple prints. Can you show us the one you're working on now? So, that's right, this is a Hiroshige design. Do you remember doing this? When was the first time? About two years ago. <laughs> so it's a best seller in the shop, you know? So, 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 so. How do you feel about that? People, it's a best seller. You know? <laughs> 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 it's a best seller. 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 It's a まあ、今までっていうか最近はドイハンガ店すごくすってたんでここ本当に半年間の間に何個もあったんですけど久々にあの<笑>デイビッドさんの板することになったんですけどやっぱりそのドイハンガ店でやっぱり重ねとかすっごいいっぱい多くて難しいなってそうそうそうやっぱり難しいなって思うんですけどでもやっぱりデイビッドさんの板でも難しいところいっぱいあって特にこのぼかしは前回やった時もすっごい I remember that from last time Actually, I gave you, I think we gave you 40 sheets Well, how many? Yeah, let's not talk about that もうどんどん上に絵の具が上がってっちゃってやっぱりなんかこういう小さい作品でもやっぱり一つ一つ難しいところがあるんで大きい小さいかかわらず難しいものがあるんでどんどんやっぱりチャレンジしてうまくなっていきたいと思います。これは本当に大切なことです。私たちは本当に大切なことです。私たちは本当に大切なことです。私たちは本当に大切なことです。And also, too, the goal here, because it's a bit simpler,、mm-hmm. really the variation、mm-hmm. should be not so much variation.、Mm-hmm. But I mean, this will be your second time printing this. You know, of course, it's still a bestseller. There's going to be a third time, a fourth time. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not laughing <laughs> at you. <laughs> no, really, this is a serious point. It's your job, actually, to be repetitive. How do you feel then when it's coming back for the second time or the third time? What do you feel? やっていかないといけないし職人としてねやっぱりそういうのが仕事なんで最初はやっぱ苦手かもしれなくてもだんだんやっていけばうまくなっていくと思うし。A、no、job like this is a mix. I know it's my job as the boss. I've got to keep you happy here. So I've got to keep some mix. You've got to do repetitive jobs sometimes. And I've got to give you a challenge, something that's going to make you feel, you know. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. But I think it's a good thing to do. やってたけど半年前にやったけどやっぱりこういうの挟ん荒川とか挟んでから、うんうんうん、ああいうのやるとまたちょっとなんかすごい小さく感じたりとか。It's a question of balance, you know. If you were doing stuff like this all the time, it would just be too difficult, too heavy. You know, you need a balance of light work and heavy work. And, and how many impressions is this? でえっ、ー、とね八回。かかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかかか There are two other printing areas on this face, one for the embossing on the bird and one unused. We'll talk about that later. Next to that, we have one of the three green blocks needed for this design and a face carved with three smaller areas for different colors. This block, covered with bluish pigments, will be used twice, once for each of the gradations that will appear.
at top and bottom of this design. Flipping them over, we first have the block face for the overall background tone. Next to it, we have two more green areas. These are all quite similar, but they differ here and there, giving variety to the vegetation in the design. And the last pair of printing areas will give the color for the flower petals. One block gives a base tone, the other will do a gradation over top. Here's where the color printing begins, putting the overall base tone in place. For those of you new to one of our process videos, I can mention that she's putting a mix of three things onto this block. Pigment, which is already in her brush actually in this example, a couple of dabs of paste as you saw, and sometimes a little splash of water if necessary. It kind of looks like I switched the video to slow motion at this point, where the paper goes into the registration mark. But no, that's just timey sound being very careful about that critical point, getting it lined up properly before she lets the paper fall onto the block. These backgrounds are the impressions that take the most work. Oh, she's a human printing press. No turning a crank here. Every square centimeter of the paper has to get a good firm rubbing to get the pigment transferred deeply into the paper. A lot of the impressions on this design are fairly finicky and this is one example because of all the small open spaces in there she's having to dimp and dab to try and make sure no pigment gets jammed up in those places. Do you see her lightly holding her left finger on the paper there? The printing area on this impression is so small that she's afraid the paper in that area might shift when she starts rubbing at the lower end. Next up is the block for the base stone on the petals. You might have noticed that she's moving around the design printing in areas that, wherever possible, don't overlap the previous impression. The paper generally needs time to settle after each rubbing, but by doing it this way she can move forward with her work without delays. On this next one, there's three zones carved. Uh, when preparing blocks like this, our general rule of thumb is that we need the width of three fingers placed together to work safely. If the design requires zones closer than that, we'll put them onto separate blocks. For now, Aimi-san is not going to try and print all three at once. Two will do. Can you see what you just printed? The green-gray was the beak of the bird, 
and the yellow is at the base of the petals, overlapping them a little bit. So here's our first gradation. The wood needs to be moistened in the area that the gradation is to appear. She next applies a bit of paste up in the color area. Then a bit of pigment gets applied to the surface of the brush just at one end. By keeping it carefully aligned, she begins to spread the pigment out. It's very difficult for her to know how far down the wood to move the brush each time. The pigment itself is creeping down bit by bit, and if she lets things get out of hand, each subsequent print will have a wider gradation. Very nice, but actually she could have done this a bit better. She left quite a bit of deep blue pigment in the places that are carved out for the two leaves there. Do you think the collectors might notice? <laughs> I should perhaps mention something to try and preempt comments that will surely come from visitors. The uh, droning noise present in many of these clips is the window mounted air conditioner in the room. We're coming into the humid and hot season here in Tokyo and although I myself don't like using such a thing, the three ladies working in this room would pretty much go on strike if I refused to let them have one. <laughs> Okay, we've already used this block once before for that top gradation. Now it's the turn of the bottom end, and this is going to be much more difficult. It's the same basic procedure, a moistened block, then pigment and paste in the brush. The problem comes from all the small angled areas carved here and there in the wood. Those angled shapes tend to cause the pigment to get pushed upwards in the design. And she has to work very carefully to try and control this. You can see she's working with a very, very light touch here. She's in super slow motion mode here. The registration on this one is absolutely critical. I'm sorry about the camera work here. I tried to find a better angle to shoot this, but I think I just made it worse. Uh, it's very difficult to see what she's doing. She has pigment at only one end of the brush and is gently hitting the petal areas in sort of just the right place to create those gentle gradations here and there.
Okay, last of the three greens. Uh, they've all used exactly the same pigment, gone on in about pretty much the same density. But because the carved areas are different, it's built up level one, level two, and a deep level three. I love those little finger gestures to hold the paper, you know, but it's really dangerous. If you get a tiny bit in the wrong place, you've pushed the paper down into a place it shouldn't go, and you get a green blob instead of what you expected. So you should be able to see now the three different layers of green, from lightest to medium to darkest. Looks like we're finished, but actually there's one more, the most fun, the embossing area on the bird feathers. But before we get to that though, I should mention the other zone that's visible in this block to the right. Some of the older versions of this print have embossing also included in the flower petals. And when I made my first version of this print, I cut this block and included that. But we've come to feel that it seems to spoil the appearance of the beautiful smooth petals. So Aimee-san and I have decided to leave it off our recent editions. And we won't be using that part of this block. So no brush necessary for this one. The moist paper just goes straight onto the block with a good vigorous rub. So there we have it, a classic Hiroshige design brought to life for yet another group of people to enjoy. Let's leave Aimi-san alone now for her final few sheets. <laughs> Thanks for watching.